So this is Baruch here at the Tikkun Elevator Kolo, and we're pushing forward with our shear on the creation map. And so we're learning little by little the Kubanos that we can have at the time of creation map. And he's telling us that the four different times that we say creation map, that different Kubanos involve with them. What we need to do when we say the word Yisrael, and he said this before, it's a magic word which world which brings in Mochin the Kadmus. Now, the, the before Mochin the Godless, which is expanded consciousness, can come to us. And what's the consciousness we're talking about? I believe that it's the consciousness of the fact that Hashem is everything. And to realize that all things come from Him, all rivers flow from the same direction. So therefore, we're all united in that. That is a level of consciousness that we try to we try to uh, to get to re, to achieve, and that could be done in the Kriya Shema. And this is the way that he's explaining this: how these Malka the Godless can come into us. It's really a tremendous the spiritual force to bring that in. To do it first, you have to bring in Malka the Godless. Malka the Godless represent all our needs, the things that we worry about all the time, the things that keep us up at night. So what we're doing here is bringing them in in order to have that be a basis for trying to elevate them up to their source, which is the Ains of Baruch Hu, which is Hashem is Baruch. So here we are in the typical moment. And he's been talking about different aspects of what happens when you say the six words of the Kriya Shema, Shema Yisrael, Hashem, Elokeinu, Hashem Echad. He says that the word Yisrael is a magic word for bringing in Mochit the Katnas. Now, if you want to say it each time of the four different times that we say Kriya Shema, there is a different level of Mochit the Katnas that comes into us. And so we're drawing that in. We're drawing in. Why are we drawing it in? We're drawing it in to be able to bring it up in terms of offering it back to Hashem. What's going on with my life? What's happening? What do I need to do? Please help me, Hashem. Yud Ke Bavke is lush mercy. So we're going through all of that, and now we're going through the different ideas. So let's just pick it up the best we can. We're on page Kuf Kof Zayin, and it says like this. He it says he neighbor the kabbalas of Bayazud, who inyan zera bechidat hashem. He's really talking about this second, the second di- differentiation. Now we have to get back and try to remember what the second differentiation was. Here we go. Kib kriya shema shala kabbalas kavit. To cover. So this is what we have, our kavana. What is our kavana? It is our meditation, what we have in our minds, that we're focusing where we want to direct our prayer. It's a shema lakama to kavit, kizu havaya. When you say yudke vave, vavke, shihi tipas zera the abba, we bring in which represents, he says, the drop of the seed that comes from abba. Nimshecha sharsha malamala mipinimius erik anpin, its root has a root in the Panemius of Eric Anpin, Misham Hamshikuhu, Abba Ve'ima, and from there, that's the place where Abba Ve'ima are able to draw it down from. Ayidehi Burum Ve'zivugum Ve'ezazu, at the time that they join together, and they make a unity of opposites, the Zivug Ve'ezazu, at this time. Now let's look real quickly at the Tivagavanos here. On number I and Dalit, where are you? I and Dalit, it's right here. So it says simply, he said, the Kriya Shema, uh, uh, the Garbala Tekave. This is the Kavana you should have. Ki Abba, Moshe Tipa Zaro, Shuhu Shem, Av Hanal, Mipinimius Ariach. So where are we? So the Kavana of the, are we talking about Kriya Shema? The Philus Arabis, we're talking about the Shel Karbanos. So this is what our Kavana is. Let's read it again. the Karbanos Tikave. This is the Kavana that we should have. I'm going to go to Shul and I'm going to say the Kriya Shema uh, the Karbanos. And the Kavana is Ki Abba Moshe Tipa Zara, that the Zara that comes from He's saying for the Panemius of Eric Anpin is going to be extended from Abba. Shuhu Shem Av Hanau, the Panemius Arich. Where does it come from? It comes to the Panemius of Arich. So he said, now let's go on. The Kriya Shema, the Yotzer. So he's going to go on and he's going to say in Yotzer. Now, the, the Kriya Shema, this is the biggest Kriya Shema of the day. So what, what he had said earlier, 
He says that this creation, this this Havaya, when you say the name Yudke Vavke, and his keres him shichuhu min chitzonius atik yamim come to the outside of atik yamim, which is the highest possible place, because now within Ziranpin are the majority of the the maximum amount of uh, malchut dekatnis. Let's see what number Ayin Hay says. Try to help us out a little bit more as we're trying to move along. He says of the decree of Shemachad the Yotz the Kaveh. He have a Moshe Chavayel Hanal Min Kitzonius Atik Yomim. Now, let's. Uh, there's something that's that's. Uh, I'm I'm learning into this now. I'll read it again. The Kriya Shema the Yotzer the Kaveh, and this is what you should have in mind of the Kriya Shema the Yotzer, is that Abba, that is, Abba is the source of the seed. So the source of the seed, Moshe Chavaya, so the Chavaya which represents the seed. It comes from where? Kitsonius Atik Yamin. It comes from the tr- extremely high place. Now, I had said previously, and I've been saying that it becomes clothed in, from that place because it lodges in that place. And we learned at the very beginning of the Kriyashma that we're saying that the Tipa is all coming from the Enzo Barco through their various different curtains and, and Malvushim, 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 is that the right word? And Lavushim. And all different kinds of paths that limit the light. Uh, but where it, most of the places it goes through, it just passes through until it finds a lodging place. And that lodging place becomes the really ultimate plea for the light. Well, the clothing, the little bush for the, for the, clo- for the light. And so for, therefore, the light now becomes clothed in that particular place. The higher the place comes from, the more transparency the Yud K Vav K has. And as a result of that, the greatest impact it has when it reaches its destination. So he said, mm-hmm. I think I skipped. So he said, mm-hmm. He's just going through this. Going back here again, he says, You should have this kabana. So these are all coming lodged in the garments of uh, of different places. The highest place is the Kitsonius of Atik Yamem, and now we're at the Kitsonius of Eric Anpin. So now we're over here on number Ayn Zayn. It's a B'Kriyish and Ma'adashal Amita. The Kamen Shalababai is Zos. Hamshikuhu Abba Be'ima, that this Abaya was really coming down from Abba Be'ima. Mikitsonius Abba Be'ima Atzman from they themselves. That's the only place where there's the bush, which is a much thicker, much more physical the bush. Let's look over here. I think I skipped number I and Bob, and so we'll read it real quick, and then we'll go to number I and Zion. This is the creation of the Arab is the Kaveh. That Abba is pulling down this Abaya from the Kitsonius of Erekampin. Of the Kriya Shemal Shalomita, the Kaba and the Kriya Shemal on the Mita, this should be your Kabana. He Abba Moshe Chabavaya Hanal be Kitsonius Atma Levad. He is only able to bring down using the clothing of himself, of Abba Be'ima together. But not from up above. In other words, the clothing that guards the Tipa. Is going to be the most opaque of all of them. So this is the Havaya that Abba is able to give to Ima at the time of the Zibok. By joining themselves together at this time, is able to stand down and to know. So we see the mochin that they have really changes according to the time because it changes according to the lavush in which the tipa is cloaked. I'm going to stop right here. This is Baruch Fleischmann, Tikkun Elevator Call.